What's up, YouTube? I'm Aspie, and you're watching The Worth Shop. On this episode, I'm going to teach you some tips, tricks, and ways to save money doing your injector return lines on a 6.9 or a 7.3 IDI diesel. I've currently got four of them in the collection. But if you follow the channel, you know we've had about six IDIs prior to these four. We've had a bus, we had a medium duty wrecker, we had a tow truck. In addition to... We had an old dually. And don't forget the U-Haul. She's what started it all. To be honest with you, I never really felt like doing a how-to on the injector return lines. I feel like there's quite a few good videos already on YouTube teaching you guys how. But if you take a look at my IDI collection, you notice they're kind of old junkers. I like to save some money. I like to get cheap old trucks, fix them up, use them. I definitely don't buy the cream of the crop. I'm always working on a budget, you could say. Probably a bit of a bottom feeder. So who better to teach you guys how to save money fixing on your old IDI? I mean, legend has it, a couple of my ancestors invented copper wire by fighting over a penny. My first tip or trick is if you've got these old gray return line caps, keep them if you can. Unless your nipple is broken off or you've got a crack in it, those are probably the best caps you can get. In my experience, those gray are OEM factory caps or factory replacement caps. Either way, they are the thickest, best plastic, best fitting caps that you're ever going to find. If your caps are more of a black color, they're aftermarket. They've been replaced. But Aspie, how do we keep our stock caps? Don't we have to just buy a whole kit? No, guys, and that's one of the tips or tricks that I'm going to teach you. And I'm going to step on a few toes and let somebody's secrets out in the process. Ah, oh, wait, that's too late. They already done kicked me out of all the IDI groups for sharing this information. This is Russell Mathis of Russ Repair. It likes to bogart information, gatekeep information, and keep this a secret and so that he can upsell and upcharge you guys, the consumer. This right here is what you order. You order yourself a 50 pack of size 111 Viton O-rings. That's enough to do three trucks plus have a couple spares. Yep, told you I'd be saving you some money. You can get a 50 pack of those O-rings for just 10 bucks. If your caps do not have broken off nipples or cracks, like I said, is all you really need is probably just the new O-rings. These are plain rubber ones. They've actually worked for me for years in most of my trucks, but some people swear by O-rings made of Viton. If your rubber hose is old, cracked, swollen, leaking, you can buy a couple feet of hose pretty cheap too. You'll want to buy some 3 16 hose for an early truck, quarter inch for the later truck. Later on in the video, I'll teach you the difference in those. But buy a quality name brand hose. You don't want to get the cheap stuff. It doesn't last, guys. Continental, Gates, get the name brand. You never want to be using this style clamps, the hose clamps, on your return lines. Okay, they've got this little flat area inside. And yes, this is way too big for a return line. But I'm using it just for demonstration purposes. They have this flat area where the clamp goes and that actually will pinch down the hose and open it up in the corners of that flat area and cause you leaks. So never use this kind of clamps guys. If you have to order a return line kit, my suggestion is to get the Delphi brand kit. This is what comes in the kit, all the new caps, some continental hose, your clamps, the brass washers, which go underneath your injectors, you really don't need those if you're just doing the return lines, and your O-rings. Amazon's got both sets right here for just over 30 bucks. <sighs> Compared to that other guy. And just a quick note on the caps. When you're shopping for return line caps, you've got ones with the nipples centered, and then you've got ones with the nipples off to the side. The ones that are centered go on 
83 to around 1990 trucks and the ones that are off to the side go on like we'll just call it mid 90 to 94 trucks those are called your early style and your late style if you're unsure which set to order your best bet just go out and check out your truck and see which kind of caps you need order that set as you see here from a conversation that I had with Mr. Mathis, initiated by yours truly, because all my comments recommending Delphi return line kits to people in the IDI groups kept getting denied, deleted, censored by Mr. Mathis. He buys up those same Delphi kits in bulk to stick it to you, the consumer. Yeah. You might say that he switches out the O-rings and throws the Viton ones in. But if you really want a good deal on a Delphi kit with Viton O-rings, check out Classic Diesel Designs. They sell them for 45 bucks. Now I'm sure somebody's going to drop a comment down below. Oh, but he's the only guy that includes the olive seals. Well, you can pick those up for a couple bucks, guys. It's not a huge deal. He's getting over on you. He's jacking up the price and screwing you the consumer. So good thing he includes that super lube with your kit so it won't hurt so bad. Speaking of lube. Lubrication. Lubrosity. The slick stuff. Because I'm plumb sick of talking about that other guy. Let's get to the tips. Lube your O-rings, guys. Throw them in some engine oil. Throw them in some ATF. Maybe some Hytran. Throw them even in some diesel fuel if that's all you've got. Get them moist. Get them lubed up before you slide them onto your injectors. If you're going to be working in a cold shop, bring those O-rings in the house. Get them warmed up. Get them up to, up to a higher temperature because warmer rubber, warmer Viton, warmer O-rings are more malleable, more flexible. You don't want to be stretching out a cold O-ring over a cold injector. Next tip, don't try to put the first O-ring down to the bottom groove, okay? A lot of people think, oh, it's the first one going on. I got to slide it all the way down. Nope, nope, nope. You slide it to the first groove, which then cushions the second one to bump over that one down to the second groove. Where you're not picking it out of the top groove to get it down to the bottom one. You're going to mess up your O-rings that way. Nobody wants a torn O-ring. Yay! Once you've heated up your O-rings, lubed them up, and gotten them down onto the grooves of your injectors. Now it's time to pop your caps on, guys. Now you want to take these caps and put your fingers in there. Make sure there's no sharp spots. Make sure there's no raised spots from the plastic injection molding process. You don't want no sharpness that when you put it down over those O-rings, it's going to tear them. It's going to cause a leak. So I tried to not make this video completely drama, but I did lay out some of the facts to you guys and try to show you why whenever you go to an IDI Facebook group, you only see rest repair, rest repair, rest repair. Because if you comment Delphi, 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 they will delete you, delete you, delete you. All right, you guys, I hope I was able to teach you something. Hit that thumbs up if I did. Really appreciated by this small YouTuber trying to grow, trying to beat those evil algorithms. So if you want to see future IDI videos, how to repair your truck and save a few bucks in the process without trying to upsell you, hit that subscribe button. I'll be here every Sunday. So till next week, use what God gave you guys. Take on some projects, build, fix, create. I know as you guys take on projects, as you repair your truck, you're going to build up your self-esteem. You're going to build up your self-worth. So till next time, keep building shit.